The game is played on a 12-foot square field covered with interlocking foam tiles. It's divided up into four quadrants, two red and two blue. There are four white side goals, 20 inches square, on the surface of the field. The two single goals are 3.5 inches tall with 18 inch posts. They're on casters so they are movable. Two paired goals with 24 inch posts are connected by a 60 inch movable crossbar. The paired goals are also on casters. Our playing element is a 3 inch ID PVC ring. There are 50, 25 red and 25 blue. 44 rings are on the field, and each alliance gets three more to preload onto the robots. Each team has four players, three humans and a robot. In addition to the two high school student driver operators, there is a coach who can be a student or an adult. The robot must be built from materials in the VEX kit, so obviously it won't look like this. Here are examples of robots from the 2006 competition. The robot cannot be larger than an 18 inch cube at the beginning of the match, but once the match is started, it can grow to any size. An alliance is made up of two teams. Your alliance partner for one match might be your opponent at another. The two alliance stations face the playing field and the audience. Robots start the match in their alliance's quadrants, touching opposite walls but not over a side goal. There are many ways to score in Quad Quandary. For instance, your alliance gets one point for each ring in a side goal. Placing a ring on a single or paired goal is worth two points. You get three points if your ring is run on an 18-inch post. or 5 points for the 24 inch post. Possessing a single or paired goal is worth 7 points. And there's a 10 point bonus for the alliance with the most points at the end of the autonomous period. Each match starts with a 20 second autonomous period, followed by a 2 minute driver controlled period. So that's an overview of the 2007 First Tech Challenge. Please read the competition manual for complete details. Good luck and remember gracious professionalism.